Alright guys, yesterday I made a video about would you ever, I mean, let me start over. I, yesterday I played a game of would you rather. Today I'm not going to do that because I made multiple videos about would you rather yesterday. Today I'm going to make a video about have you ever. Similar game but different. So let's get this started, alright. Have you ever appreciated a sunset? Yeah, multiple times when I went fishing, it was a nice sunset until it got hot. That's like on my nerve. Where were you alone with? Were you alone or with someone special? I was alone. I, I think I like to go fishing by myself alone. Have you ever been a guest at a surprise party? No, I've never been a guest at a surprise party because. I'm always a forgotten one. I never really go to parties. I'm not a real big party goer, and I don't like going to parties. Besides, I never, I never, I'm never invited. Has you? I mean, has anyone ever thrown a surprise party for you? Nope. Out of 18 years of living, no. Never had a surprise party. Never went to a surprise party. Have you ever been to on um, I mean have you ever been in a fist fight? I've been in multiple fist fights. I've been to in those type of fights where punches been thrown, people got black eyes, but I've never been the one with a black guy. And I've never been knocked out, but I've knocked people out in my day. But I've already graduated from high school. I'm proud of that. I'm glad I'm away from all them childish people. So I can become a better person. Now I can really start my life. In school, I got in, got in, got into a lot of fights, believe it or not. But now I'm, I'm just, now I'm out of high school, so I ain't got no reason to fight. I'm out of school in general. Have you ever been on TV? Never been on TV. My brother has, but I never been on TV. Lucky him. Have you ever broken a bone? Never in my life. And I'm proud of that. Blessing. Have you ever broken? up with someone. To be honest with you, I've never broken up with anybody. They don't want to break up me, but that's very rare. Usually when I date somebody, we'll date for a while. I don't say it's over. She don't say it's over. It's just, we stop liking each other and we go separate ways. We don't even talk to each other about it. That's how my, my relationship has been. Just say, hey, you want to go out? Yeah. We date for a while. If we don't like each other, we'd go separate ways. We don't even say it's over. It just... I guess you're out of respect, I guess. Uh, have you ever called your girlfriend by the wrong name? No. Because if I ever called my girl by the wrong name, she'll be pissed off. And two, I got no reason to. Because she has a simple name, if I remember that. Then... Yeah. Have you ever called your girlfriend Honey? I've called my girlfriend Honey on several occasions. She likes it. Have you ever changed your appearance a lot in short time? Like hair or clothing, hair color, hairstyle, weight. My weight changes all the time in a short period of time. My hairstyle don't obviously change unless I get an edge up, which I need to go do the day and all that. So that's pretty much what that is. Have you ever cheated on exam? <laughs> you talk to the wrong person if you're talking to me because I've cheated on a lot of exams, so... <laughs> yeah. Have you ever cried in public and embarrassed yourself? No. To be honest with you, I've never cried in public. That's true. That's just a true, honest answer right there. Okay. Have you ever dated someone from another race, culture, or religion? Yeah, I have. I've dated Mexicans. I've dated white people. I'm currently with a white person. <laughs> and it's very nice. Uh, have you ever dated someone who didn't like you? 
No. I, I don't, I'm not going to even bother to waste my time with somebody who does not want to deal with me or like me or whatever. I mean, if you like me, cool. If you don't like me, then just stay in my life, all right? I ain't got time to take, deal with some childish games. Have you ever dated a relative by accident? Here's your answer. No! Because that's just sick. I know there's a lot of people that date their relatives. That's part of religion or whatever. But I don't date my relatives. Besides, my family, my, the females in my family, they're not all that attractive anyways. For one. To the family, and I would never date family. That's probably the loudest you guys will ever hear me on a YouTube video. Have you ever date? Have you have you ever done something silly that you wish you have not done? Probably act a fool in class before. Y'all yeah, somewhat of a class clown, but not a whole lot. Have you ever driven a sports car? Nope. Never in my life. That will come true one day, but until then, no. Have you ever driven a truck? Yes, I have. I've driven my dad's truck on lots of occasions. Whenever he'll like driving, I drive. Have you ever eaten in a restaurant and realized you have no money with you? <laughs> no, that never happened to me, but eventually it may happen, but till then, no. If that did happen, I probably just walk out before anybody realizes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Have you ever eating something that you thought you wouldn't like but found out that you actually liked it? Uh, I'm trying to think of something. Beef stroganoff? And quail eggs. Have you ever eaten a frog? Have you ever eaten frog legs? Yes, I have. I've eaten frog legs. They're pretty good. They like chicken. Have you ever eaten horse meat? No. I eat cow meat, but I don't eat horse meat. I don't like horse meat. Never tried it. Never probably will try it. And I'm not interested. If you're not a cow, I'm not eating you. If you're not a cow, frog, squirrel, something like that, I'm not eating you. Have you ever eaten French food? If French fries got something to do with French, then yes, I have. But if not, then no. <laughs> have you ever fallen asleep or forgotten where you were? Yeah, every time me and my dad go fishing, on the way back home, I fall asleep, and then he tells me to get, take over, like to start driving. Why I just sit and rest, which I do. And I, I kind of look around and be like, where are we? I feel like I got kidnapped for a moment. Have you ever fallen in love at first sight? The girl I'm with now? Yes, I have. Have you ever fallen asleep while taking a bath? No. Why would you want to fall asleep while taking a bath? That's the that's like walking in fire because if you fall asleep and your body goes into deep sleep, you just start like like if you're like in a slant and your body's gonna start just slowly going down like this, and you end up drowning. So guys, never fall asleep while taking a bath. You might drown. But I have taken falling asleep while taking showers though. Standing up. Yes, I'm like a horse. I can, or a cow. I can, I can just stand up and sleep. I can be right here and just go to knock out. Just. <sighs> have you ever fallen down stairs? <laughs> I'm, I don't have. I don't go up and down many stairs. But when I was at school, 
I fell down. I'm on the whole flight of stairs, but I caught myself eventually. Have you ever, have you ever fallen or stumbled from others? Not really. No. Have you ever forgotten your mother's birthday? <laughs> no. My mother is one person I would never forget their birthday. Father birthday? No. Girlfriend? No. Like when I first started dating her, I did. To be honest with you. But now I don't forget it. A brother. My brothers? No. My wife? I don't. Have, I don't have a wife. But if I did, it would still be no. Have you ever given a false excuse to get out of something you didn't want to do? If so, tell us about it, okay? Let me read that again. Have you ever given a false excuse to get out of something you didn't want to do? Okay, well, one time when I was in school, I was bored, didn't feel like dealing with, dealing with nobody, didn't feel like dealing with the teachers. Yeah, in, I was in class, it was in history class to be exact. I didn't feel like doing nothing. I didn't feel like dealing with nobody. I just wanted to be to myself, so I just started drawing little pictures, like ice cream cones, and burgers, and stuff like that on my papers and stuff. The teacher said, erase that. Okay, I erased it. He said, if you draw it again, I'm going to write you up. <laughs> I drew again because I, didn't, I, I was just that bad in school that I didn't give a crap. And he wrote me up for it. But, I, but I'm so smart that I erased everything I had and I drew everything so lightly, I erased it and wrote my name. So when I went to the office, the principal would see what I did and I'd tell him the story, I'd be like, yeah, I what? I said, I, okay, I'll be honest with you. I was drawing on my paper, but he told me to stop and I did stop and I started writing my name. He thought I was drawing and he just wrote me up because he got tired of me, I guess. And then the principal said, okay, sit out here and do your work for the rest of the period and you go to class. So cool. I was like, okay, cool. I, I, and it was like, like last ten minutes of class, so I qu quickly just raced through the stuff. I didn't care if it was right or wrong. I just finished it, so I got to class, and that's that. Oh yeah, hi, babe. <laughs> Have you ever given a ring or jewelry to another? To up, oh yeah, I've given my girl rings. I gave her necklaces. I gave her bracelets. All sorry about that fly. Like yesterday, all sorts of things. Okay, have you ever gone mountain climbing? No. Have you ever gone skiing? No. Have you went surfing? No. Cause those two things I probably would suck at doing. I probably fall on my fat behind. Have you ever dreamed of a ghost being in your bedroom and then waking up, finding yourself looking around for the ghost? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. When I was a little kid, yeah. I, just had, I always had a thing for ghosts, but... Yeah. I just couldn't... I didn't like what I was going through. Yeah, that's too much. I hope you guys are hear that, that fly buzzing or something. I'm, well, if you guys wonder what I'm doing, I'm trying to straighten the camera where my head's not kind of ch not that chopped off. Let me go down a little bit. More. Okay. Now look, like I'm sitting, but I'm just leaning against the wall. Um. Have you ever gone to a Greek for that? I'm not skipping that one. That's kind of hard to read. Have you ever gotten sunburnt at a, at the tanning salon and gone back the next day? I'm already black as it is. I don't need no tan. The sun does that for me when I leave the house. Have you ever made cheesecake? I never made cheesecake, but I've eaten cheesecake, and it tasted pretty good. Grandma style. When I was a grandma style, I met my grandmother used to make cheesecakes. Both of them, actually, both my my grandmothers used to, used to make cheesecake. I only love one grandmother's cheesecake, and that was my mother's mother. Because my dad's mother, the way she cooked it, 
No. I don't even know how to deal with that, dude. Like, I don't. So, yeah. Have you ever played a joke on one of your teachers? I am a big giant class clown or a prankster. So one day I went to school and had like a little tiny tube, maybe, hold on, let me put my phone down. Maybe about this big, like, probably like that. And it was full of baby powder. I told a few classmates what I was gonna do to the certain teacher called Mr. Hines. So if you ever watch this video, Mr. Hines, <laughs> remember that? Yeah. So I pour like a handful of powder in my hand. He likes to shake people's hands at the door. And I put my, so I have my hand kind of like, like this. And I put my hand out like that. I shook it. The moment my, my, my hand made connection with his hand, all that powder just dropped out of my hand, fell on his pants, right in his crotch area. So we all know what white powder looks like when it's down there. And yeah. And I started busting out laughing, I started pointing, and then people really look, and, I look like, and, I point, and everybody looked down, except for the teacher, so he didn't see me pointing, and everybody just busts out laughing. And basically, I just embarrassed the teacher, because he was, he was one of those teachers I hated, but at the same time, I didn't hate him, because he was the type you can, like, play your mama jokes with and all that stuff. So he was, like, one of the playful teachers, but there were sounds I didn't like him. Have you... How about one of your classmates? No. And when I say how about one of your classmates, that's, that's, that's retaining the same question. Uh, okay. The next question is, have you ever raised your hand to answer a question that forgot what you were going to say? Have you ever received a present that really that you really hated? Probably a puzzle piece or or puzzle set, whatever. Excuse me. Probably a puzzle set. Cause I don't like doing puzzles. Like I never had luck with them. Never figure out how to put them together unless they're like seven pieces. And then yeah. Have you ever had a woman when she was due and she wasn't pregnant? J jokingly with my friends or whatever, female friends. Have you ever called a woman sir or ma'am? I mean, have you ever called a woman ma'am and a, a s man sir? Never. I'm not the person who says yes sir or no sir, but if I'm trying to get a job, it's called suck up and just say all that. Yes, sir. No, sir. Crap. But other than that, I don't say yes, sir. No, sir. I just be like, yeah. All right. All right. And last three questions. I mean, there's more, but I'm going to skip half of the questions. Who was the, per like, have you ever talked to a famous person? Who was it? Soldier Boy. You think I'm lying? I can pull up the history. But my probably not anymore because that was on YouTube and it was I was using my mother's account. My, my at the time I didn't have a YouTube account, so I was using my mother's YouTube account. But I've talked to him. Yeah. Have you ever guessed someone's age wrong, younger or older? No, because I'm really good at guessing your age. If I look at your heart, if I look at you, I can just tell. Like, here's a story. When I was in like, elementary school, or grade school, whatever you want to call it, the, the coach, he's like, if anybody can guess my age, you can have this um, certain thing or whatever. I forgot what, this, what it was, but yeah. And I guess his age, I was like, hmm. And I was like, probably like, Eight, I think, at the time. I was like, mm. You're 26, right? He's like, Yep, here you go. And he gave me whatever it was. I forgot what it was, though. Uh, one more question, guys. I finally get a question for the end of the video. 